If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. If entering a partial customer payment, begin by selecting Customers, Receive Payments from the menu bar to open the Receive Payments window. Then select the name of the customer or customer job from the Received From dropdown. Enter the partial payment date, amount, and payment method at the top of this window just as when accepting a full payment. Unpaid invoices will then appear at the bottom of the window. If you want QuickBooks to attribute the payment to anything other than the oldest invoice, then click the Unapply Payment button that appears in the main tab of the ribbon at the top of the window to clear the check mark or marks from the selected invoice or invoices. In the listing of unpaid invoices, you can click into the white rightmost column and change the amount applied to the desired invoice by typing the partial payment amount. In QuickBooks, entering a partial payment also allows you to select either the Leave This as an Underpayment or Write Off the Extra Amount option buttons at the bottom of the screen. You may want to use this feature to write off the extra amount if a customer accidentally shorted you by a small amount that is not worth rebilling. By default, though, Leave This as an Underpayment is selected and you will be able to receive payments on that invoice again in the future. When finished, click either the Save and Close or Save and New buttons to save the transaction and accept the partial payment amount. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.